Hi, and welcome to HDMM. I'm Heather from Diving Head First, and today I'm going to show you how to make a behind the couch table. This is a really great solution if you have a very narrow living room or if it's also a pathway and it's just an awkward space to have like a traditional coffee table. It gives you a nice little place to put down your remotes and your drinks while you're sitting on your couch so that your remotes are not forever lost into the couch cushions. So let's get started. To start out, you need to measure the height of the back of your couch and the length of your couch. This will obviously vary depending on the couch that you have, so I'm just going to show you what I did, but obviously you will need to adjust accordingly for your couch. I was lucky that my couch is actually a pretty standard leg table size, so I was able to just buy metal legs from Ikea that were very cheap. My couch is also 8 feet long, so... I was able to just buy a standard piece of lumber of that's just two inches by eight inches by eight feet and then I had them cut it in half at the store so that I would have two four feet tabletops and then I just painted it with some leftover chalkboard paint that I had from another project. This is all up to what you want to do and what fits your personal style. I decided to divide my table into two because then it would be easier to move and also if I want to eventually get a smaller couch that I could possibly reuse these in different ways. Once your tabletop is ready, then you can attach your legs, lay out your top plates for your legs onto the underside of your tabletops and mark out where you need to drill your holes. Once you have everything drilled and your top plates are screwed in, then you just need to attach your legs and you're pretty much done. I decided to go and add a little bit extra step where I decided to add a edge of felt around the whole entire side just to act as like a bumper and also just like a nice pop of color. I thought that this would be a good bumper if you have actual drywall walls so that your table doesn't scuff your walls. Yeah, I don't have that problem because my table is going up against an exposed brick wall but in this case it's kind of actually protecting the table against the wall. Depending on how narrow you make your table, these tables are going to be a bit wobbly. They will stand on their own but they will not they probably aren't going to function as a table by themselves, but that's okay because you're going to wedge it between your wall and your couch, so that helps stabilize it. Once you have your tables all put together, just shift out your couch enough to get the tables in, slide them in place, and then push everything back into place. Now you have a nice place to put your remotes and put your drinks while you're watching TV and it's just a really handy little shelf to have. This was a super easy project that I did in a couple hours and it only cost me about 50 bucks. If you like this project let me know in the comments below and hit that thumbs up button. For more videos make sure to subscribe to HDMM and also check out my personal channel Diving Head First. See you guys later! Bye!